You've got questions, we've got answers. Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, answering the questions that new leaders ask us. It's actually our goal to help all leaders be more successful, productive, and confident. And in this episode today, the question is, what are you reading? Are you ready? Let's go. Well, normally, I answer the question, but today I asked the question. It's a question that I ask smart people and interesting people when I meet them. What are you reading? It's a question that I ask everyone on my podcast, the Remarkable Leadership Podcast. What are you reading? And it's the question that I'm asking you. Now, why do I ask these other folks? I ask them because as a reader, I'm always looking for the things I might be missing. Uh, things to read about subjects or, or great books, recommendations to broaden and deepen my reading list. But I'm asking you for a different, fundamentally different reason. I'm asking you because it's a, it's a fundamentally important question to your own development. What are you reading? So the key here is to always remember that the best leaders are readers. Now I know that that's kind of a poetic thing and it sounds nice and it makes a great tweet, but the reality is I've never met a great leader who wasn't a reader. Now. If you're watching because you are a new leader from Bud to Bosch, you're a brand new leader and you are a reader, then you probably need to change what you're reading. And if you're a leader, new or otherwise, and you say, well, Kevin, I'm really not a reader, then you, you need to change. And you need to start reading more or use a service like Audible where you can listen instead of actually read, but get the same result. So I believe you ought to be reading and you may be asking, Kevin, well, what should I read? Well, that's a good question. So now it's my turn to answer. Here it goes. First, you should read wider. You should read on a brighter, wider breadth of topics. You ought to be reading about stuff that you haven't read before. When you were a subject matter expert, maybe you were reading a lot, a technical expert, you were reading a lot in your technical area. Now you need to read broader. You need to read about consumer stuff and about the world at large and you need to read about all sorts of things because all of those things impact you as a leader. You need to read wider. You need to read intentionally, with intention. You want to read with intention. What, what do I mean? Well, what are the things you really want to work on and focus on reading on those areas? As nice as it is and sometimes to just sort of read serendipitously about whatever you find, I think there's a lot of value in having a focus area that I'm going to work on this area for a while and I'm going to read three or four books and get a little more depth in that particular area. So read more intentionally. You want to read to your strengths. What are you already pretty good at as a leader? Let's say you're already a pretty good coach. You've gotten some feedback that says you're a pretty good coach. Read a couple more books about coaching to get even better at it. Take your strengths and strengthen them. You can read about your weaknesses too. This one may make more sense. Find an area that you're not very good at. Like, I'm not a very good listener. So you read a really good book about listening. I'm not a very good storyteller. So you read a good book or two about telling stories, whatever that might be. Read to your weakness. And lastly, I would say read biographies. Now, I've, I've done a, a video on that before, and there's a link here that you can go and tech, learn more about that. But the reason to read about biographies is that there are a lot of folks who've done a lot and achieved a lot and made this big mistakes that we can learn from if we're willing to read from them. So read more biographies. Reading is critical to our success as a leader. Building our knowledge, building our perspective, building our awareness, all important to us to be a more effective leader. And to do that, we really ought to be a reader. Let me summarize with what I've already said three times. The best leaders are readers. I hope you found this helpful. I really do. And if you're a new leader or one who supports other new leaders, you can find lots more videos like this and lots more resources like this on the Bud to Boss site, budtoboss.com. You go there, lots of free resources, a blog with all sorts of materials on there. And yeah, there's some things you can pay us for to get some great learning experiences. And we'd be happy to have you take a look at those as well. But mostly we're here to support you to become the leader you're capable of being.